Welcome Leos, thank you for tuning in to your reading for July and of course happy early birthday to all my July Leos out there. I hope you guys are going to have a good month, you know, building up towards your season. I was just tuning in a little bit before I start recording and I saw someone running. I saw like, you know, literally like um, the image of like sports shoes or something like that like running but it was like a rocky road it was you know like loose rocks and things like that and it was after the rain so what i got with that is that um, i was sensing the energy of like literally just without any type of real circumstances being able to move forward really wanting to get out of something away from something so i'm sensing that you from you going from running away from something into running towards something and i'm sensing a shift in that energy because they were literally showing me something like turning around the room like it was just this energy of like let's you know do a different spin let's move it the other way around so i'm sensing you are cultivating certain energy that from situations where you had felt a little bit like you had no control or you couldn't really change but you tried to get out try to move forward um i'm now sensing that you're much more capable of actually transmuting that energy into something more productive and working for you instead so that's energy i'm working um i'm i'm, I'm feeling for you guys and you worked with the 12th house energy i mean that new moon in cancer is still sort of activating your 12th house it's like subconscious things come up i'm sensing that you will have a, a better understanding of your mental physical spiritual health connecting to listening and tuning in a little bit to more of like your subconscious so some of you may have some intense dreams and things like that but i'm sensing that things just going to click in some way shape or form for you guys this month so that's like really good because you're moving obviously up towards the new moon on the 28th of july in your sign that's your sign so i'm sensing that you're undoing yourself and releasing some of that energy in order for you to really step into that clean energy by the time um july ends so that's what i'm sensing here we go we have the magician for you very beautiful leos look that's literally what I was just talking about. It's like, okay, I'm using these things that I have collective, um, collectively maybe collected, basically, because there's been a lot of shifts and change happening in the biggest scale, the collective, and it does affect you on a personal level. But you're also like, you know what, I'm not going to lay down and just let this, you know, determine what I should feel, how I should deal with it, or what I should do. It's like I still have the ability to not give this my personal power i'm taking it back i'm using it in my inventions instead of you know just lay down and play you know submissive basically <laughs> you remember uh, we're awakening that lion within you and you're going to look at things from a different perspective and that puts you back in being grateful for things what maybe um you know you you felt like were the reason why you weren't happy or the reason right why you were stuck and now you're sort of changing that around so i'm sensing with the magician it's definitely go time yeah, i love this whole the energy's like you know <laughs> all right here we go let's let's move forward let's see what else coming up for you guys yep the tower okay 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 so yeah good really 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 good okay so you by changing your energy and your attitude towards something you move towards the empress energy this is beautiful this is really beautiful some of you really are working with re-entering because i'm sensing it's re-entering your life like um to come from an energy of gratitude and you're trying to really integrate it into like a day-to-day -day basis the magician with the tower it's like yeah for some of you it could have do could have had well okay mark is not ready i'm retrograde but my voice is literally like i can't have a hard time speaking the words okay one sec <clears throat> Okay, so for some of you like i'm getting two different things that's why i have a hard time actually expressing it some of you are you that you um 
find out that you and your partner really bond to different things and maybe this is not new news but this isn't this is a confirmation but it's like you you kind of you kind of come to the conclusion like you know what we really do both want different things out of life we really want to you know with this next five years we both want kind of sort of the opposite and i'm sensing that that might actually you know be a decision that is hard to make but actually in the end of the day is the best for the both of you and you let go out of love and that's an engine i'm sensing that's not for all but for some of you that really is um for others of you recently you might have actually find out that your partner or yourself you're expecting and with that i'm sensing that it will bring a lot of love and joy into even though it might put you a little bit in a fear state because it comes as a shock it's not I'm, I'm not really sensing like you expected it to work or it happen or you were not expecting at all like that 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 was going to come into your life because sometimes you know you could do treatments like ivf and stuff and you kind of don't really feel like you know that it's going to happen because you know you've done that before or something and then it does and then it brings all of this so i'm sensing that any type of pregnancy any type of you know new thing um new thing i'm sorry yeah it could be a new thing coming into your life uh, and pregnancy could be a thing but the baby itself of course you know it's not a thing <laughs> you know any new addition to the family to the thing uh to the, yeah to your surrounding basically and, and and especially like your home you know like you know uh, addition to the family it could be like an extra person moving into your house basically so just saying that could be definitely a positive thing. So I'm not sensing that's obviously, you know, the worst thing that could happen at this time. But it can come a little bit with a shock and a surprising factor. But surprisingly, it kind of works out well for the both of you. So one sec. I'm also sensing for some of you, you might in July or you just recently uh, discovered that you had like an allergy to a certain type of food, uh, fruits or food or any type of hay or grass or something like that, right? Allergies and, and ever since you figured out what it was, it kind of put you back in a power position. Now you know, okay, if I take this those things are going to disappear and I no longer have to constantly think about what the, what's going on with me, why do I feel this way, la -di -da -da, what can I do about it, like all of that is sort of moving towards the background because now you have your thing that you can add when, once you start to experience those type of, um, um, you know, symptoms basically. So that's something I'm sensing as well. Um, we have the five of pentacles here, so that's a switch, yeah, that's that. Energy with the king of wands. And the beautiful King of Cups. So. Alright, so basically I'm sensing that there might have been a friendship in your life. Um, you know each other for like quite a long time because there's an established connection, uh, emotional bond, connection. This could be for men or women, it's just a friend. Um, that feels more than a friend, you know, it's almost like we're so opposite, but we work that, that much more together because of it. So as I'm sensing and I'm feeling like either they have recently gone to a health scare or something like that. <clears throat> something with the voice, voice with this throat chakra. I'm sensing that they didn't share the full extent of it and it kind of comes as a shock. <clears throat> um, sorry, my throat chakra just completely blocked out, so... <clears throat> then definitely a lot that needed to be talked about leo is going on <laughs> okay or so maybe you felt a little bit neglected by that friend or something like that so it is um i'm sensing that there's a, a change happening when it comes to that friendship i am seeing that i'm hearing like put two and two together and so that works so I'm definitely sensing that there is a fresh start or a, a new foundation being established and you both have a lot of pride which I'm sensing which kind of makes you understand why you would react in a certain way towards people outside that circle 
it's like yeah i understand i totally understand because you know i will feel the same way and i would definitely say something like you know that's an energy you will, might get from that friend um but then sometimes it really clashes because then you both are in that energy and then it's like you know but it helps it helps because i'm sensing that it helps you to see to not ignore your feminine side basically your nurturing side also towards yourself sometimes you can sort of bulldoze over your own feelings and you don't even notice it because you you out of loyalty you just continue something you do something i'm not saying that this is what you always will do i'm just sometimes i'm sensing that energy so seven of cups is here as well there's a lot of history there with the eight of cups wow we have the seven and then the eight and then the page so yeah i i'm feeling that with with certain decisions that you make or coming to a conclusion that it's best to just walk away you see here you have these options and someone is really contemplating these options you see a different type of cups and then you see when it comes to the eight it's the exact same person that is one of the cops you see it's right here so that's the option you might choose is to to release it and to walk away this is working through the emotions of the subconscious working through it and so from there on you get a fresh start you get you know um a much more playful energy back because if you're walking around with um you know something that really hurt you or disappointed you um or you just expectations and they just you know it, you felt like you know it was the bare minimum of what you could expect and even you know a personal situation went below all that um it can I'm, I'm sensing like it's like a trust thing like you don't trust in it as much whether it's in yourself and your abilities or it's in a in a person or situation basically so i'm sensing you're walking away and you're getting a more playful energy around it here here we have the six of pentacles so yeah that's 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 fair okay so much more balanced three of swords eight of swords yeah okay what's going on leos <clears throat> oof Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 So this ain't no, this is not just a, well, you know, you promised me you would bring this and then you show up at my house and you didn't bring it, you know, type of energy because it's not that serious. It, it is serious. It's, this, this is serious stuff. It's like, it's not just, it's like this person or this situation actually hurt me to such an extent that I was questioning my own and myself and I, I didn't even know you know how to handle that situation anymore I got sort of caught up in something that is not even me you know and then you have to feel like you have to be in fence with everyone because they fooled you in such a way or they were they just came out of the blue with a certain move that you weren't expecting and now you kind of don't want to let your guard down so I'm sensing that it's coming to an end with the, the, the um, you know with the ten of swords obviously but it also really does indicate that this really messed with your whole like your it just messed with you on a deeper level it's like i don't even know what to do anymore how am i supposed to be giving on this end when they're kind of sort of stepping me in the back on the other side like you have questions like you you don't know where um the lies begin and and the truth starts and it's like you know it's basically a little bit of that but you will work through that it's you coming out of that because like i said it's a subconscious thing this could even be like from something that happened four or five years ago and all of a sudden you you find yourself thinking about it again but i'm sensing with the lovers it definitely is a time where you can get those you know um deep m moments of like really going into your thought process and actually coming out with a different view point on it and actually you are capable of balancing things out more you're making the decision to move forward with love you know love for yourself love for the situation and just moving and letting it go with love and then you open up your heart again because a leo with a closed heart i don't think that's natural you know it doesn't necessarily bring you the most happiest um 
experiences basically look at that beautiful yes it's like you know what i am resilient look at you it's you open up your heart you got a really big beautiful heart and it will take some time because you're learning how to trust yourself learning how to really lean on yourself again and then yes from there on to really open up and allow somebody in i'm thinking you're going to be more conscious about what you share and what you don't share but also what do you need to get off your chest and what and what do you rather just keep for yourself and you work through it in private so i'm sensing that there's a little bit still that energy during cancer season but once your season comes along you're really ready to let certain things go from a really hard situation um and, and a tough moment of like making tough decisions but you cannot stay in that space for too long because at one point your nature your instinct just takes over and it brings you back into that powerful position so you end with the card of you with the strength card with you right on the front you see but also you started off with the magician so that's a story in between basically when you move in a hat towards <clears throat> All right, let's get an oracle card out for you guys. We have divine healing. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and to heal. Your light can support others. That's beautiful. See that healing of the heart chakra. See that green energy is a heart chakra basically is indicated in his, in his um, card as well so it's saying honor your sensitivity retreat to recharge and to heal and then your light can shine upon and support yourself and others moving forward so that's really beautiful that's really really beautiful to be as bold to love like that to come forward like that to stand for certain things in your life like that it's bold it's beautiful it's brave it's you leo and your season is coming up so you get away with a little bit more of that <laughs> you just get away with it no questions asked leo is just you know out there doing their thing <laughs> oh but i'm so glad that 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 you're working through this and you actually are coming out much more in your natural state and you feel more grounded as well so with the empress uh, coming through as the third card after that tower energy really indicates that groundedness you know the empress is very grounded very rooted into um where she is and that she wants to be where she is at that moment in time and she's willing to grow her roots there and build up on that um but not because she needs more it's just because she enjoys you know putting time and energy into nurturing and to uh, making things grow and things like that but doesn't put overly unrealistic expectations of whatever you know might grow and what doesn't she just enjoys what she does and she takes time to rest when she needs it so yeah i can continue for a long long time but i'm not going to do it because i have a lot more signs to read for once again happy early birthday i'll definitely I'll, i'm going to try and be back with your august reading before your season hits um i'm sending you guys a big hug i love you so much and have a beautiful month of july leos Mwah. bye guys <laughs>